first of all, I just want to say thank you for going there. So many of you went there on such a high end level about why you think you haven't gotten what you've gotten. And you really dug deep. And I, I just want to say it was moving. I really appreciate it. Um, just amazing. I want to say that um, as far as like most of the stuff that we decide is a reason that we don't get something um, is, 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 you know, it's just made up. What I thought was, it's it's interesting because here comes Dawn. I want to use, Dawn, can you come off mute for a minute, Dawn Comas? Good afternoon. Hi, listen to that voice. So uh, Dawn, Dawn, you're a perfect example. The one, oh. the one reason that you actually could have, that's the reason that your acting career got off kilter was because you were in a, a fire and you correct me if I'm wrong, but you, you came close to dying. Is that correct? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. You did not even say that in your, uh, in your post. And I was like, oh my God, the one thing that is true for you, which you had no control over, which you were in a fire and you almost died. You didn't put that. You put I have a lopsided head, so I I always thought that that would keep me from acting. Like, who says? You guys, my my friend Matt has a hair lip, and you guys probably know this actor. He's he's like literally in everything. Possibly. He's Matt Mayer, Matt Mayer, and we've talked about him a lot because the way that I know Matt Mayer is because when I worked with Scott Cargill, and if you guys don't know who Scott is, he's one of our other coaches. When I worked with Scott and Scott directed me in Coriolanus, the, he was another actor in the show and he had a hair <clears throat> lip, right? Now, most people that were born with a hair lip and never got it fixed would think, how could I ever be an actor? I have a hair lip. Like, how could I do that? And he's like, you guys... Look, go look him up. He, I just saw him in another major film, like with a major part. I think he was in that movie. Um, I want to go look him up right now so mm -hmm. I can tell, but I want you guys to, it's, it's M-A-H-R-E-R, -E I think, or M-A-H-E-R is his last name and his first name is Matt. Look him up. You'll see. And, and, you know, and he should be an example to all of you because he could have said to himself, I'll never be a successful actor because I have a hair lip. Right. But he didn't do that. Right. He, he went and got his dream. So most of you guys, even though they were heartfelt and deep and you had really serious reasons why you haven't gotten, why you've got, why you, why you haven't gotten what you want. All of those things that you said, were set, set, were or, made were made up right were um were things that were made up in your head for reasons that it could like it could be that that doesn't have to be the truth be. um so i i'm sorry i'm muting you guys because it's like really noisy in here and i i, I have to concentrate so i just want to say that for the clients that are on here, one of the things that I'm going to do in our upcoming retreat in April is I'm going to bring James on there and we're going to do some work <laughs> on creating a new groove. So the word rehearse, and this is just like, so you understand the word rehearse means to, to, to practice something until you and rehearse it until you dig a groove. So when you walk on stage or when you walk in front of the camera, it's, it's almost like it becomes automatic. We all have rehearsed stories in our brain. 
right? And those were her stories are where we go automatically. We create grooves, story grooves, things in our brain. And in order to create a new groove, so you know how they say like, you know, you've I'm sure you've heard everything like it takes 21 days to create a new habit or 30 days to create a new habit. Like there's all those different like philosophies out there. But the reason it takes time is because you have to think about like, I remember when I quit smoking and I had to like, literally every time I wanted to pick up a cigarette, I had to think like why I don't want to pick up a cigarette why I don't want to pick up a cigarette until I rehearsed it enough that I didn't want to pick up a cigarette anymore. So, um, anyway, <laughs> I, I, I urge you to look at the reasons why you haven't gotten it and said, does that have to be true? Could it be different, right? Could that thing be different? Is that a made up thing? Is it something that I could create a new thought, right? A new thought. Could I create a new thought? Like, yes, I can get that. I, I, I read something recently where they said every, every human should study improv because you know the number one rule to improv is yes and right? It's always yes. And so what if we lived our lives like that? What if we lived our lives like my bank account's empty? It's negative. Yes. And I have room on my credit cards to go do what I need to do today. Or right. Like what if we, we came from a yes and perspective in our lives? Um, I have a lopsided head. Yes. And that might be the thing that's really cool about me, right? That might be the thing that's really cool about me. Um, so anyway, I just, y'all mute yourself, please, because I can't hear. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to leave that alone for right now, but I just wanted to say that you guys really inspired me, motivated me, and also I'm going to bring James to the retreat um, because he's really good at helping you create new grooves, right? And like, as we heard from Carolyn Center yesterday, who met with James, she said, you know, he really helped her to think in a new way and look at different things. And he's really good at that. So I'm going to bring him to the retreat. Um, anyway, that's coming. Okay, so your homework for today is this. I want you to now tell me what your dream role looks like. Like when you imagine yourself in a movie, what is that role? What is that specific role that you see yourself playing? Next week, we're going to get into like brand and defining your brand and defining your customers and define making a plan. But in order to do that, I need to know what is your dream role? Like, what is the role that you're like, oh, man, I could play this role. And I would love for you to write that down for me. Tell me what that dream role is. Um, I, I always had a dream role of playing a role like um, being Leonardo DiCaprio's mom and being like sort of like a uh, nine mile like kim bassinger and in, in nine mile like being like kind of like a poor kind of you know mother that lived in a trailer that was just trying to get by and really bitter and struggled with drug addiction and you know that was a role that for me was like a dream role a, a role that i want wanted to be or maybe it's a role in a play like a dream role for me would be maggie you know maggie um or um you know, um, you know, Lady, I'm not in a the theater, but Lady Macbeth would be a dream role for me. That would be a dream role that I would love to play. Someone that's like severely in angst would be a dream role for me. So I would love for, to know what your dream role is because the name of this challenge is to book your dream role. So tell me about what your dream role is. 
um, and explain it for me. Okay. That's the homework for today. Um, all right. So I'm, I am going to come down exactly at a half an hour because I have to go catch a train. That's why I'm at the Starbucks, not by the train station. Um, Okay, Caro, great question. Caro asked, does it have to be only one role? No. If you have more than one, write them down. Like, oh, I would like to play, you know, um, Maggie and Cat on the Hot Tin Roof. I'd like to play, you know, whoever. So if, if you have more than one role, absolutely. Like, tell me what that is. Yes, Chris. Hello. Valerie. Hello. Yes, um, I want to ask you, I've got two questions, thank you very much. You know, one question is um, regarding Sony Pictures Television. Um, in the 30-second video, could I mention that to Amanda, that I met her in person at lovely, dynamic Valerie's Game Changer in LA in 2019 when I came especially from London? No. And the reason I'm saying no is because that's not the question. What is the question? What are you supposed to answer in the video? Yeah, thank you. 30 second video on why I want to be part of the program. Now, that's connect there's a connection there because I want to work in LA. I came all the way out there to see you in order. That was a step that I made to come out. I came out there. You understand? That was for that reason. Why else would I have come there? Um, and that's where, as you okay, know. Okay, so let me ask you something. Is the is the um, thing going to be virtual or is it going to be in person? It's a program. It's training intensive program, exposure to leading industry executives. Right. But does it say it's going to be virtual or does it say it's going to be in person? Well, you mean once you, if you get accepted, it will be in a group of actors to okay. participate. No, because, you know, I mean, I know during COVID it wasn't and that I had a client in that. And then I know when Nadia did it, it was in person. So I just wondered if it was going to be in person again. Yeah, it um, is. Because it, yeah. it says you have to have your own accommodation in L.A. Right. OK. Um, OK, so. Yeah, I mean, I guess you 30 seconds is quick, Chris. And, know. you know, I, um, I mean, I, I'm thinking that's why I'm thinking, know. you know, first of all, you know, Chris, most likely, I don't know what you have that's diverse necessarily in, in the sense of, you know, are you really right for this showcase? I don't, I, I don't, I've, I, I, I doubt it to be honest with you. Um, because, you know, first of all, you are from another country and second of all, um, you know, you're a guy. Yeah. You might be of Greek origin, but you're a guy, a white guy basically. Right. And so I don't know that they're going to really, um, consider someone, especially if they're not American. All right. But what I, if, let's say, what if, Let's go with what if and um yeah, let's go with yes and just like I was just talking about, right? Yeah. So 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 all oh, right. So why why do you want to do it? Because you want to work in LA again. Yeah. Okay. Um I don't think that you're gonna get chosen because she met you before. I just don't think that that's a you know, um, you know. I mean, I think that you could say we met one time, um, we met before. I mean, I guess you could say that, but I don't think that's a strong enough why. I mean, I think the why needs to be about acting. I have been exchanging emails with her, as you know. Right. So just, um, well, she remember my name, I guess. She remember my face. Yeah. 
Just say, oh. um, you know, I met you briefly when I was in L.A. in 2019. I really enjoyed my time in L.A. and I want to return to L.A. to work as an actor. And um, I would love to work under the tutelage of you and your team. Something to that effect. Beautiful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Can I ask you the other question? The yes. other question is, um, I can either send my showreel, my current showreel, or I can do a self-tape. Now, if I do do a self-tape, shall I do drama or shall I do comedy? I'll send my showreel. I, I think you should do comedy. All right, I'll do the dance teacher. Yeah, I think you should do comedy. And I think you should do a scene. Okay. 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 You're welcome. You. you know, and the reason I'm saying that for you guys that are interested in doing the Sony showcase is a lot of the stuff that's coming out of so Sony is comedy. A lot of the stuff that's coming out of Sony is sitcoms and comedy. Now, I have sit in for you guys that are like, well, you know, I'm a white girl or I'm this or I'm that. Like, I don't feel like I fit into to the diversity showcase. I can tell you that there was um, both times I sat in on the, they didn't have one last year. Both times I sat in on the showcase, there was a white girl in within the showcase because a woman, a woman is considered diversity. So um, I know, so I'm looking at you, Aaron. Yes, you can submit for that, right? And Violetta, you can submit, right? Like, I think that you guys can submit on that. Um. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else have a question? Yes, Mike. So my question is a little different. I, uh, when Scott was here the other day with us and we were talking, he said, why don't you reach out to Aqua? So I reached out to Aqua because I was talking to him about um, spokesperson work. So they just got back to me saying, Hey, are you interested in meeting with or available meeting with us on the 7th of March? Um, so just got the message, didn't reply yet. Knew we were going to have our, our call. Um, so I don't know if they want to meet in person. I'm assuming they want to meet in person, not over the web. Um, so before I reply, it looks like you're frozen, but mean in per yeah, I mean, yeah. I think that, I think that you should say, Hey, I'm currently in Philadelphia. Can we meet on zoom? Okay. All right. I'll give it a try and see what they have to say. Okay. Simple. Yeah. I mean, I'm so glad they got back to you quickly because, you know, listen, the thing about Courtney that she's the owner, mm -hmm. the thing about that company is that initially they weren't looking at anyone that wasn't outside of, of, of LA, but recently they have been looking at people that are outside of LA because I think that they understand now that you don't have to be in LA anymore. Yeah. And I, they reached out on the commercial side. Um, so that's kind of where I, I, I went both directions. Um, I did a follow with Courtney from, from the past, but I reached out to somebody else. They replied pretty quickly, which is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, but you know, if you get with them commercially, you might be able to, to drum up a meeting with, yeah. um, with Courtney. Cause she really is the best mid-level agent in LA. Gotcha. By okay. a long shot. A long shot yeah. yeah. I mean, and just for you guys that don't know, about Courtney Pelton over at Aqua. Let me just explain why she's the best agent in LA, the best mid-level agent in LA. So what happened is that um, CAA, UTA, and WME, and Gersh, they created their own ecosystem. They do not use actors access. What they do is they just get calls from the casting directors to to fill the leads in whatever movie or TV show that casting director is casting. And Courtney was aware of that. So what she did was she went out and personally built a relationship with all the casting directors. So this is what has happened. And this is firsthand from a casting director's mouth. The casting director will go out to WME, UTA, um, CAA, and Gersh, and they will get the leads placed in their movie. And then what they're doing is they're calling Courtney to get the rest of the parts. That's happening a lot. 
And what Courtney did was she made deals with different agents. So if she gets that she gets them paramount a, a role and she doesn't represent that person, the agent that she got that person from pays her a commission. Do you understand? She created her own ecosystem. And so what, so if you are just depending on an agent to submit you and it's not Courtney Peldom and it's not CIA, UTA, WME or Gersh, you are, you are, you are just not in a good position because what happens is it's kind of like we have water um, pipes coming into our company and you know you want to make sure that those pipes are turned all the way up so you have as much water coming into your company like money revenue and opportunities for revenue if you are just depending on an agent to get you auditions via actors access by clicking and submitting you have a drip 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 coming into your company that is why it is important for you to build relationships with the decision makers more than ever, okay? Because if you're not doing that, you that's the reason you're not, I mean, how many of you guys since everything went self-tapes, how many of you have seen your auditions go down? I mean, I have. My auditions have gone down. My auditions are not. Maggie just raised her hand, right? Here's the deal. It's it's not that there are more actors. It's just that it's just that the system itself is breaking down. So you have to bypass the system if you want to work as an actor. And were you raising your hand, Dawn, because you've seen your auditions go down? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yeah, we all have. Right. And also our bookings have gone down. Why? Because I don't care what they tell you. First of all, when we used to go in the room, there was 20 of us or 30 of us that would go in for the part. Now they can take 100 to 200 submissions for the role. I don't care what they tell you. They're not watching that self-tape all the way through. There is no way they're making a decision about it in like one second. And Don Valderomas is, is, is shaking his head as well. He knows that, right? They're not watching our self tapes. This is a problem. This is why we have to go around them to the decision makers. Yes, Derek. Two, two things. Courtney Powden, is this the lady from Aqua Talent I've just found on LinkedIn? Yes, Courtney Powden. Right, I've sent an invitation to hook up with her. Uh, another thing, just to give you my apology in advance, I won't be here tomorrow because I am actually performing. Um, I'm doing a murder mystery, so forgive me for not turning up tomorrow. Well, good. I'm glad you're performing. And I wish I could be there. I wish you could be there too. You could see what goes on in England with uh, murder mysteries. They're fun. I know. Okay, thank you. We'll miss you tomorrow. And I'll see you on Monday. Cause, okay, uh, I'll be. Oh, or come on Saturday if you're available. Uh, I'm not available on Saturday. I'm okay. Afraid that, All right. So. Don't forget, Thank everyone, you. that we're doing at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Um, thanks, Derek. Thank Miss Spooner, come on down. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes. Oh, great. Thank you. Um, I just want to say, Valerie, I'm really enjoying these uh, conversations that we're having. Um, they've been really useful. Um, I had a question about the Sony Diversity Showcase. Now, I had a look last night to see if I could find it, any more information about it online. And I kept on getting things, kept on getting sent to a previous version of the showcase. So I wondered if anyone has the link um, so that I can just <laughs> have a look. It may not be relevant to me because I'm based in the UK, as you can probably tell from my accent. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But be nice to see it um yeah i don't know if someone has the link to it and they can do it um uh i will um 
I, I will, I can get that for you, but not right now, but I'll, okay. I'll try to, to get that for you and see if I can, and I'm going into the city right now to speak. So, um, if I can find it, I'll send it to my assistant and have her put it in the email. But if anyone has it or can get it and you can put it in the chat, that would be very helpful. Um, Thank you. Chris, do you have it? Yeah, so I got it somewhere. I'll have to look, find it. Okay, if you find Thank it, you. can you please All put right. it on there? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I will really try to find it when I'm on the train. And because uh, I just saw an, I just saw Amanda um, make another post about it on the Facebook group when I was looking at your um, when I was in there looking at your comments on my phone. I found Amanda made a post about it. So um, and by the way, uh, and we keep talking about Amanda. Amanda Richards is um is the person that organized. She's like the second in command of casting of Sony. And she's a friend of mine. And a lot of my clients have met her because she serves on panels for me. And she's done things for me. She used to work at my agency back in the day. That's how I know her. And so um, uh, she's, you know, she's the one that um, is, has organized this thing. But I don't, like when you do the showcase, she, I don't know how involved she is in it. She has people from Sony, like executives that teach different classes and help people do things. She's just the one that puts the connection out for you to get in. The, um, but my, my, the two girls that we've had, the two girls that we've had in it, um, in the last, she started it in 2019. Yeah. Because Nadia did it before COVID in 20. No, I didn't know Nadia till after I didn't know Nadia till it must've started in 21. Cause I didn't know Nadia until Nadia hired us after COVID because she was in broad on Broadway and Harry Potter and it shut down and then she was freaking out. And so then she hired us. And so so I didn't meet Nadia till after that. And so Nadia must have done it in 21. Um, and then they didn't. And then we had someone do it in 22. And then they didn't do it last year. So someone here has someone, one of my clients has to get in it because um, <laughs> because I need to have a where it's like I have a client in it every every year. That would be awesome. So one of you guys needs to book it. OK, I'm just telling you, go book it. <laughs> Um, okay, listen, you guys, I have to run and get on a train. Um, and for you guys that aren't in America, um, in America today, we a lot of us lost cell phone. I mean, this is really scary, but cell phone, um, cell phone shut down in America today. Um, um, my cell phone's been on and off. I don't know if any of you guys else experienced that. It was AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, and um, they were down for a very long time this morning and then it came back up and then it went back down again so if someone's trying to get a hold of me and I don't answer your phone that's what's happening or I'm, I'm not you know or I didn't get your message but anyway just letting you guys know that that's what's been happening not sure what it is did any, did anyone else have that this morning am I the only one I thought you were just ignoring us all about oh. <laughs> Oh. I had it the I had it Tuesday night when it was pouring rain here again in yeah. California. Well I was on my way to my improv class and I decided to turn around in case something happened. I, yeah. I wanted to call 911. It was major outages. I saw the map on television. It was like most of the east coast huh? and then um a lot of California and Oregon. It was like out. So I was like, but it was early this morning, so anyway. All right, you guys. Um, great. I'll be back in my own home tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. And, um, and, uh, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye everyone. Have a great speech. Have fun at the fest. Thanks. Thank you.